So here we are at the second to last episode of Kiss Him Not Me, episode 11. And this episode was the battle between brothers, the Mitsumi brothers. So I enjoyed this episode. There was a lot of references that was um, made in this episode in regards of anime or manga. Of course, that's something that's not new in regards to this series. As well as we finally have where Mitsumi Senpai confesses his feelings. So, to begin with, we have where the brothers are going to challenge each other. And of course, Mitsumi Senpai, he doesn't want his brother Kazuma to take away Kai from him. Of course, that's not known to the others until the very end. So, what happens is, the other characters, Igarashi, Nashina, Nanashima, and Shinomiya, they're all trying ways, plotting up... um different ways of stopping Cosma from trying to get Kai to like him and possibly make her his girlfriend because he is a student teacher so he's on a trial right now and once his trial ends he's free to go and wanting to date Kai so they're trying everything they can do and everything that they throw at him he just he's take he's taking it and he's spitting right back out at them with double force because they even tried to like there was instance where they tried to fight him in a mental stage he he got them he even basically almost started a rumor about Nanashima and um and Igarashi in the school that those two are together so their high school life is kind of ruined at the moment um, and then with Nashina, he brought up Dark Pass about her earlier stages when it came to her writing. So no matter what they did, he was able to counter that. So their only hope was Mitsumi Senpai. Now there was a touching moment in this episode when Mitsumi Senpai and Kai were talking. And at that time, Mitsumi was wondering what he can do to stop um, his brother from pursuing Kai. Of course, he came to realize his feelings after last week's episode um, and then going into this episode. So for him, what we come to find out is that actually one, his brother was the person who locked him up in the storage house. And that's why he has a fear when it comes to dark places and they're dark and closed. So, and the fact that what we come to find out, and I don't think it was really... Um, something that we didn't notice at first, but it was explained in this episode for people that didn't really get it through um, Mitsumi Senpai's personality. It's in regards that Mitsumi Senpai, not only is he a caring and considerate person, it's the fact that he's self-sacrificing. Even from a young age, he always gave up things for the sake of making others happy. And because he did that, that's why his brother locked him up in the storage house. He gave up, they got toy sets, these castles, and they both wanted the same thing. But when it came around Christmas time, um, his brother got a different type of castle, and he got the one that he really wanted. And he wanted his brother to be happy, so he was willing to give that up. So, so long as he had something... And if someone else wanted it, he could share whatever he could share. He can give whatever he could. And for him, so long as someone else was happy, it made him happy. And he, as he was explaining this to Kai, Kai brought up the notion that, oh, is it something that you can easily give up? And he goes saying, no, this is not something I can give up. And it's not, it's not a thing. He didn't tell her it was a person, but it was very personal it was very precious to him so she encourages him after that and he goes into battle with his um his brother which made the reference in this episode so the references that were put into this episode was actually about i believe four references one um three of them was in regards to kai telling kazuma that when he was asking her if he could be his her waifu she says no i have a total of 16 wives um the top three of them is Xion, if you know Xion from number six, um, Levi from Attack on Titan, um, the, her, he's, he's tied with Akane-chan, and the third one is Miyuki Senpai, and that's from Diamond No Ace. Now, when it came down to the battle between the brothers, it was also a reference to Yukio, because they said even though the game, the card game they were playing, they said it's less popular than the most popular card game that is out 
So you can automatically tell that was Yukio. And basically the game that they were playing, it was like in Yukio, you know, Yukio, they play whenever they play their cards, it's very dramatic. It's very intense. And it's like when you do it realistically, it's just me telling you what my card is about the abilities have and it could go against yours. And it was kind of just, in a sense, poking fun at the way um, Yukio characters play their game without all the dramatic effects and then explosions with monsters and everything from the cards. Of course, Mitsumi Senpai does win at the end of the day, and it was nothing in bad blood, but from what the from the message I was getting, especially from Kazuma, and the way how Mitsumi Senpai told Kai how he was always giving up something, I think the reason behind all of this was, in a sense, people may have gotten out of this episode that Kazuma is a jerk towards his brother, especially what he did to him when he was younger, but what I got is that Kazuma truly loves his little brother. He cares for him, okay? You see moments where they're hugging and they're very, there's like that homey feeling, that, that brotherly love between both of them. And the reason why he was doing all of this, I think it was in a way to show Mitsumi Senpai that it's okay for you to pursue what you want. Even if it means, you know, someone else won't be able to get it. it and in a way, for Mitsumi Senpai, that was to make Kai realize he has feelings for her and that she's not someone or she's not someone or something that he can easily give up to someone else. Because like he said for, to himself, he told Kai that... Just thinking of giving up this precious thing makes me feel depressed. It hurts. So, in a way, it was it's Kazuma's way of teaching Mitsumi Senpai a lesson that it's okay to pursue what you want. And that, you know, there are things that you can't just easily give up. That's the kind of message I got from this episode and the lesson that Kazuma was trying to teach Mitsumi Senpai. Of course, Mitsumi Senpai told Kai when she asked the question, what was it that you were, you really want, didn't want to let go? And he said, um, it was something very precious to me and that I like you. And we have where the other characters were like, what? And then it leaves off on that. So next week's episode is the final episode. And I feel like now that the characters know that Mitsumi Senpai likes her, now they're going to, you know, now it's full competition between the characters and we're going to see on uh, the pursuit towards getting Kai to recognize her feelings and in hopes that she will date one of them. So I cannot wait for the final episode of Kiss Him Not Me. If you guys saw this week's episode, do drop in the comment section below on how you felt about this week's episode and what are your hopes for the last episode. And also if you want to, you can tell me how you felt overall about this series. Um, if you are a manga reader, uh, don't throw in those spoilers, but how do you feel about the whole production of the anime versus the manga and are you hoping that there might be a season two um if it didn't catch up to the manga as of yet so you can tell me all that down below the links are in the description box as always you guys could check that out and i'm kimmy chan of anime legends podcast and i will see you guys later bye